Well, hello friends, Sujosevich here. Welcome back to some of the most average Hearthstone gameplay you'll find out there. With my my favorite deck, the Shadow Reaper Anduin, Raza, Kazakus Priest. Uh, it's a bit of a mouthful, but it is definitely kind of my favorite deck that's been established here now less than, well, let's call it 20 days after the Knights of the Frozen Throne expansion. Uh, there's really a lot of stuff that I really like. That trade is obviously going to happen every time. Oh, that's not the worst thing in the world. So we have a couple options, and I'm going to go ahead and play Glimmer Root here, even though I'm kind of expecting to get hit with a Flame Tongue. I know that's very bad, but if we don't, we'll be in business. Oh, this is tough. I'm going to guess Jinyu's in our opponent's deck. Oh my goodness. I, that was, you know, that, that would have been my... I was like, I was like Jinyu maybe, let's say like 80% and then 20% on the Hot Spring. Oh, this is actually a decent enough result. We still lose our minion, which is sad, obviously. But now we're going to be able to play... Oh boy, our opponent's got a lot of stuff going on. But we do have a Dragonfire Potion to help stabilize eventually. We are just going to slam down the Cabal Talon Priest, giving up the battle cry, knowing that we trade in with the board here poorly. But at least we trade in with the board and we're not going to be, hopefully, hopefully, not losing too much to the board. That does now become a really big concern, but there's not like we can really do too much about it. Our opponent obviously takes this trade, and there's not much... Outside of top decking Shadow Word Pain that we're going to be able to do right now. Spirit Lash is a card. We could go Northshire Spirit Lash Heal. And see what comes of that. Or we could slam down the Jade. And hope that next turn something survives. And I think that's going to be the better play. Spirit Lash, Northshire Heal. We can't even actually do. Now that I look at mana. So I'm glad I didn't, glad I didn't spend any more time thinking about that silly combo. And I think, you know... Trying to get too fancy sometimes is going to be really bad. This is also really bad because our opponent's going to have tons and tons of resources now. Um, because that's a guarantee because of the spell powers out. I would say our opponent should just hero power if they don't have anything great. That's a pretty good turn to be doing that in. We're in a little bit of uh, trouble if we don't get a great top deck. I would go for Elise. I'd go for Raza. Those two things would be excellent for us. Ooh, well, that's not necessarily excellent. We can go two, three, four. No. We can do the Northshire Spirit Lash Heal turn now. Setting up for a Holy Nova next turn. Not great. But it does, you know, establish something. Although our opponent's drawing like crazy. So we're not going to be in good shape. We can go Radiant Elemental into nothing. We can do Radiant Elemental Holy Nova next turn to develop and... To develop and then also have something on board so that could be kind of good there's a lira okay so now we at least we get a potential lira coming up if we find some more of our low cost spells which we do have quite a few of and it's nice because we actually have lira into radiant elemental so that could be a thing in the coming turns oh there we go oh this makes us very happy look at this clearing the board and drawing and the question is do we want to slam down the radiant elemental now or not um i'm gonna go with a big old yes so this is going to go now to two. Our opponent's still drawn a whole bunch. So we really want to be catching up here on the draw. And we wipe our opponent's board. We have now at least an active card that we can develop for next turn. So that's pretty good. The issue is our opponent's going to be able to slam down huge, huge minions. And we have an answer at least for one of their turns. For when they decide to go Doppelgangster Evolve. Yeah, Jade Lightning's no good. I'm assuming the 2-3 disappears. Yeah. That's pretty scary. This is pretty scary. Um, haha, <laughs> pint size. Okay. So pint size is not great. Uh, if we'd, ha if we'd, man yeah, well, if we'd kept our, if we'd kept our, uh, our Radiant Elemental, Lyra would have been a really, really fun turn right now to start kind of, kind of comboing these sorts of things. Because this would have, would have been zero mana, we could have potentially discovered more zero manas. Obviously, we cannot Dragon Fire. We could Pyro... Pint size heal. I think maybe that's doing too much. I mean, maybe we're going to Lyra into pint size, but even that, the pint size, we can probably save then for the, like, for Cabal Shadow Priest combo. Although, maybe we're not even going to make it there. So, let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, we should behold the glory of a new sun. We get a Shadow Visions. We get one health. Off of the Tar Creeper. So that's something. And at the very least our opponent can't kill our Lyra on board. So it's going to be an investment of more resources. But 
I've already said this a few times now, but the uh, shamans do tend to have a lot of fancy removal, as we're seeing right here. And that's A-OK. -okay. Uh, our board disappears this turn. Um, and then we'll see what happens. Maybe we can wild pyro into shadow visions, into something to clear the board. That'll be fun. Okay. Oh, not healing the minions. Interesting. Not healing. Nice. Oh, maybe we would Doomsayer depending how much board clearage we do. I think we're going to go ahead for the, the pyro. I think there's just too many great things we can pick up right now. Oh, my. Oh, my. I think we want to go free from Amber. Even... Oh. So here's the issue. Here's the issue. Is... Suppose we take Shadow or Pain. Uh, everything takes one damage. Um, then we'll hit this with Shadow or Pain. And all that's left is one card. But I feel like Free from Amber is going to be a better thing for us to do in terms of winning the game. And once again, our opponent doesn't have the ability on board to kill the Doomsayer because the Tar Creeper only has plus one attack on our turn. So our opponent's going to have to invest some resources into dealing with Doomsayer. So they're not going to be able to just Doppelgangster evolve this turn. Sure, they might have a Hex. Sure, they might have Flame Tongue Totem. Maybe they're just going to develop? Oh, they can still probably, they can still take out the Dooms. There's no way this is getting developed without having an answer, right? Like, that's way too intense of a high-level play just to say, I'll take a 5-5 five five instead of this board, right? Right? I, I really, yeah, I know, there, there has to be. There we go, Devolve, there we go. I knew there had to be some sort of an answer. Hey, that's kind of cool. And that's kind of cool, too. Um, how badly do we lose to... So now the, the issue is, we've only dealt with one Devolve and no... Ay ay ay. The issue, of course, is... Do we die to Bloodlust? Uh, this is 3, 6, 9, 18. 18 plus... Uh, 18 is going to set us down to, uh, yeah, we're, we're super dead to, to Bloodlust. If we play Lich King, are we dead to Bloodlust? That is then the next question. Um, if we play Lich King, are we dead to Bloodlust? This goes, this takes 3, so this takes this damage, and it's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're still dead if we play Lich King, so we kind of have to play Dragonfire. At this point and hedge our bets uh, which is unfortunate because then our opponent has a 5-5 five, five plus whatever else they develop next turn um plus whatever they evolve into so yeah that's really unfortunate obviously that aya there having the answer for doomsayer was a good play then Ob we we did expect it but it was just weird how our opponent kind of hesitated there for a second um i mean if we're ever able to develop a you know if we're ever able to kind of like have the have the, this game slow down we will be able to start throwing down big answers which is nice um the issue is of course we don't look like we're getting there anytime soon so i'm gonna actually um do we care more about the spell no i think we're gonna go lich king because lich king can draw us good uh, w wide board removals at the end of the turn uh deal five damage or heal that's good this can help um our opponent probably wouldn't want to bloodlust and then the other reason is because we still have medivh in our deck we would want to save free from amber and we also have another great out right now in Shadow Reaper Anduin, because we'll be able to wipe our wipe the board of all five or higher attack minions. So that's kind of cool as well. Otherwise, we're yeah we're we're very at the mercy of what's being drawn right now. That we don't have a lot more draw in the deck. We have a Power Word Shield to help us draw. We have a oh into a seven drop. This could still be strong. Uh, six six. Not the end of the world for us. Definitely not the end of the world. That's, yeah, that's a weak devolve. That's for sure. Um, Bloodlust doesn't let our opponent... Uh-oh. No activation. Very good for us. Very, very good for us. They're keeping the six alive. That's interesting. Probably the correct play, to be honest. Oh. Oh, that's actually kind of not cool for us. Uh, but that's okay. Oh, Shadow Reaper Anduin. Pretty good news. Pretty, pretty good news. How do we want to do this? I think we just do this right now, right? Because um, then we'll be able to do more reactive stuff in the coming turns. So we get we play Shadow Reaper. That kills the 6-6. Six, six. Then with Shadow Reaper, we can ping this down. 
And even if this is bloodlust, this is 3, 6, 10, 12, so we're not dead. And then we have Priest of the Feast, plus Greater Healing Potion, plus Death Coil for our healing, which we now lose access to. And we'll get rid of this. We hope our opponent never really gets this draw. We don't have that much AoE left, if any. I'm trying to think what else we would have. So we're not too worried about popping Runic Edge Egg. That's probably That would probably be on us at this point if we were to go ahead and give our opponent that draw. So that's kind of good. Um, otherwise, we're, we, I, I'm feeling like we're kind of in a good spot right here. Um, we're definitely going to be at the mercy of our opponent gr getting a great Doppelgangster Evolve, obviously. Wow, going for it. Going for it, though. Uh, so this is 4, 5, 6, 7. So we kill that off reasonably easily. So that's also nice. Oh, brutal. That's also not nice. Um, so how do we do this? Oh, another free from Amber. My goodness. How do we do this then? How do we do this? We can go Priest of the Feast, four, six, eight. So we heal up uh, up to f uh, three plus is 16. And our opponent can't kill this on board, which is also nice. And then we set up for our other spells right now as well. So we'll deal five here. And we're not going to worry about healing all the way to full because... Oh, actually, is Bloodlust lethal? Three, six, nine. Nine plus five is 14. So we're okay. So this is a super slow card. If it gets slammed down, we're okay. If this card is kind of a miss, like if this card kind of misses and like let's say it's a Hot Spring Guardian or something, we're really in good shape. Um. Oh my. Do you get double back to your hand or no? Oh, four plus two is six. Never mind. I'm still not that concerned though, I hope. Uh, power word shield. Do we just mind control this? I think that's a decent mind control right now. We'll mind control and we'll get it back for the following turn as well. And again, I mean, we're, we're still okay for healing because at least we have greater healing potion. And then we'll be able to find an Elise, which will give us a pack, which will give us healing because it always does, I think. Oh, this could be scary. Uh, but luckily, none of the big ones, the big scary ones, can really come down this turn. So I think we're okay in that sense. Unless it's a 5 eight, or 7 8. Oh, that's not really that scary right now. Feeling kind of okay about this position, I think. Obviously, Bloodlust is scary just because the board's getting a little bit wide. Uh, let's think about this right now. How do we want to do this? Do we have to kind of machine gun slowly, like 2, 4, 5? 2 plus 3, this is uh, this is 3. Then this is 6. So 3 plus 6 we can kind of do and ping down a couple things, which would be nice just for the sake of... For the sake of Bloodlust, not losing to Bloodlust right now. And I think that's good. That'll help us delay. Um, but so let's... Oh, let's actually do this properly. We'll ping first. Then we will draw. No Raza. Oh, that's actually very good, isn't it? Um, oh. Do we want to get rid of the 4-3? I think we do actually want to get rid of the 4-3, don't we? Um, and we'll do this. And we can attack here. And then we will heal up. And I think that puts us in a pretty good spot right now. Obviously, this can still get hit with a Hex. But hopefully, we're going to be able to stall the game out enough that we'll be able to get our Medivh going next turn. And hopefully... You know, the 7-8 should keep the game under control enough. Because this is either Doppel... The, the things we're worried about are Doppelgangster Evolve combo. But this is either Doppelgangster or Evolve. And Evolve is actually bad because these are kind of buffed up right now. In terms of being brought back. Not that the 0-2s are doing anything for board control. Uh, this is just more unfortunate that... Oh, yeah, our opponent's looking to... Uh, it'll be interesting to see if our opponent's going to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, so only one of those death rattles looks like they trigger, by the way. Even if you get uh, Echo Spirited twice. So our opponent's probably not even going to play the 4-5 right now. So we get even more control now of what's going on on the board. So that's kind of nice as well. Uh, Happy Ghoul comes out very slowly. It is so kind of you to join me. So I think all we do, we just go in and attack. We get rid of the, the aggressive totem. And it looks like we're basically in control now. So that's very nice. We've got big minions. We have tons of big minions we're going to be able to flood with. Obviously still weak to hexes. But it's not like hexes are really going to be that much of an issue for us right now. 
simply because we have so many more big minions and hexes are going to be slow removal from our opponent's limited resources that they have left. That's just scary because it's an 8-8 and we can't really deal with an 8-8 right now. Uh, let's see what we get though. 10-10 <laughs> it is! Um, and then we also get a random... That's pretty nice. Uh, we didn't have lethal there, so let's not get mad. We'll probably have lethal for next turn. Um, do we want to attack or just set up the lethal even harder? I, I'm, I know, I, I tend to go a little bit too much control, but... That was only 7 plus... Uh, what was it? A 7, so that's 14. Yes, 14 would have set us up very nicely, but it wasn't fully lethal, so... Can't get too mad at me there. And it looked like we had full control of the game anyways at this point, so it wasn't going to matter either way. That was a really fun game. I still love this deck. I am going to continue to post a whole bunch of variety of decks, though. I'm going to try out OTK Paladin sooner than later. Uh, but we're going to continue with this deck a whole bunch, just because it's fun. There's lots of fun decision-making along the way of the games, often, unless we get run over. And that's really what I like about Hearthstone, so I'll keep doing that. Thanks for hanging out with me, everyone. I hope you're enjoying these. Let me know how you're doing so far in the expansion. I know I'm still loving it and having a, having a blast climbing the ladder here. Keep your stick on the ice.